Hey guys, Half Click up here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be installing a Stage 1 Performance Tune by Integrated Engineering on our 2013 Audi A4 Quattro S line. And that is done by way of Integrated Engineering's PowerLink interface. Let's do it. Right, so the way this essentially works is the power link serves as the interface to communicate with the car to transfer the data that is the new tune. And what it does is it rewrites the code in the car's ECU and modifies the parameters as such to uh, increase the performance of the vehicle. So this just simply plugs into your OBD2 port. And my understanding is the way of old before this new power link was um, by way of the cable here plugged into your Windows computer and then linked to here and then plugged into the car and you had to utilize the uh, the PowerLink software. However, fast forward to the latest and greatest and this guy is actually a Bluetooth communicator and so instead of using Windows software on a computer, you wirelessly Bluetooth to the PowerLink app on your phone and that's how you flash the ECU. Now it's imperative that when the ECU is being flashed that there is no chance that the car loses power. So you see here we have her hooked up to some life support. Got her on the Shoemaker and uh, she is fully charged and presently in maintenance mode. So it'll be constantly maintaining charge to the battery while the car is reflashing the ECU. For reference, if you're curious, the only mods to this car right now is the S34 carbon fiber uh, intake from 034 Motorsport, and she also has a muffler delete, which is really just for sound. All right, so we begin by going underneath the dash to the far left and installing the power link into the OBD2 port. There we have power flashing. Now with our foot off the brake, we want to apply power to the car. Go ahead and link up. Power link app. Oh, go ahead and shut the door. So we don't have to listen to that. Go ahead and turn the HVAC off as well. Scan for device. Go on and agree to the terms. Got to scroll all the way before it turns green. All right, device is found. There's the device's serial number. Connect. And now it looks like it's going to update the firmware. Right on. Cable not registered, please register. All right, so here we go. This is the process where it'll marry the uh, power link to the app in the car as a unit. All right, entered my information and now it's identifying the ECU. VIN not registered, please register. All right, here's the next step. All right, so you get to choose your gauge layout. So this is another cool feature of the, uh, the software is you can run it in real time as you're going down the road and it serves as a data center. There is all sorts of things to choose from. Skip. Looks like she's running through an ECU test.
All right, so here we are at the base screen. I like this one as a matter of fact. But it all depends on what it is that you're wanting to, um, to monitor, right? <clears throat> Unimportant right now, of course, but I'll probably leave it at this one because who doesn't like a digital boost gauge, right? So anyways, let's go to tune. Phone battery is at 20% or more. It is. It will. Battery charger is connected. <laughs> Warning, failure to do so may result in a brick DCU. Got to be on that battery maintainer, man. Hood must remain open. Check. Connect to the power link, which we are. Ignition is on. our information. No engine tune present. Makes sense. Loading tunes. So this is a stage one that doesn't require any sort of uh, hard parts or anything like that, right? If you want to go stage two, you're going to have to have at least a downpipe. Um, ideally, you want an intake to go with that downpipe as well as an exhaust. And um, an intercooler wouldn't hurt too, right? The K04 tune is for the K04 turbo upgrade, and you'll need all those um, complimentary hard parts to go with that. This gets very expensive, guys, as you can imagine. Very expensive. So we're going stage one, and we use 93 octane. That's what we want to buy. All right, the VIN's not authorized to the power link yet. We want to authorize it. Purchasing tune. We are good. Power link is ready to flash your car. To begin, please select the button below. 93 octane. Begin flash. Suppose, supposedly, this will take between 15 and 20 minutes. So we're not going to sit here and you just stare at this percentage climbing for 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll come back when it's like in the high 90s and continue the process. All right, fast forward a solid 10 minutes or so later, faster than I expected. All right, so the ECU has the new data. Flash. Ah, so this is where the uh, additional time comes in. Yep. So that is expected. This is just like if you have like OBD 11 hooked up, but a little bit more crazy stuff. <laughs> the key here is not to panic. This is all supposed to happen. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the time consuming part. This is going a lot slower. But you just let it go through its thing, man. Every bell, light, and whistle that this car has is illuminating and dinging. It's all part of the process. We'll be back. All right, so fast forward another solid 10 minutes, and we're almost there. So yeah, this was a, a roughly 15 to 20 minute process, and uh, I can't begin to stress enough the importance of having a battery maintainer hooked up while you're doing this because even with the doors closed i could hear the schumacher unit cycling repeatedly uh outside and she's about done writing the new code
All right, congratulations. You've successfully flashed your car. Now go have some fun. Please make sure to turn the ignition off. All right. Off. Start the car. Right, so it still has issues and such. Cycle ignition off and then on. Back on. Okay, that, that finished the off. Now we're back on. Now unplug power link from OBD2. Okay, and it said to plug it back in. And give her a crank. All is Hi right, guys, so here we are road testing. And I uh, just want to show you that there are no malfunction indicators at all. It's important to note, and I almost forgot this detail that I learned in another video on YouTube where this guy was saying that you're done with all the flashing, everything's done, uh, you're ready to go drive the car, and your TPMS warning light is on. Mine was, and you guys saw that just a second ago. But um, once you go down the road, probably for about two minutes, the TPMS warning goes away and you're good to go. The tune is running nicely. Um, <laughs> so they say that this is the way this car should have come from the factory and I wholeheartedly agree. Um, it's definitely noticeable. You can feel it in the seat of your pants and everywhere else. Um, the car is faster on takeoff all throughout the RPM range. It's impressive. Uh, let's go play. Now, I know these kinds of videos are kind of useless for those of you at home watching because there's no real reference, right? The only reference you have is what I'm telling you, that the car is faster, and it is. Golly, dude, <laughs> it's, it's noticeable, guys. It's about a 20% increase in power, and it is noticeable. Not going to lie. We'll spin around up here, and um, I'll let you see the live data as you watch the boost just go through the roof, man. It's impressive. Integrated engineering for the win, boys. And this is just stage one. I would imagine once you go stage two and start creeping up on 300 horsepower, um, it's probably quite the freaking experience, man. Man, I can't imagine a K04. My goodness. That would be insane. Even that uh, turbo muffler delete, even though it's got a, it still has the factory diverter valve, diverter valve, it still sounds like a blow off valve. I don't know how well that picks up on camera, but 
It's impressive. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, it pins you. It really does. It pins you in the seat. That's what we were going for, man. Just a stage one. All new feeling to the car. That's fantastic. I'm impressed. Especially when you get that Black Friday price in with the free power link, though. Shout out to Integrated Engineering for doing things right and for uh, giving the people a good deal. Much appreciated, IE. Well, boys, that's all I got. Uh, that is the Integrated Engineering Stage 1 tune for the Audi A4 B8 and 8.5 platform. Again, this being a 2013 model A4 Quattro S line. Very impressed. Good stuff. That's all I got, guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Goodbye.